In this uh, video, uh, we will solve the exercise uh, of chapter number 5, uh, step by step. So, let's start uh, it. इस चैप्टर में हम जो एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर 5 है इसको हल करेंगे स्टेप बाय स्टेप तो आइए शुरू करते हैं चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर फर्स्ट द स्पॉन्टेनियस मिक्सिंग ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज कॉल्ड इवोपोरेशन सब्लिमेशन डिफ्यूजन एंड बॉइलिंग सो द स्पॉन्टेनियस मिक्सिंग ऑफ द पार्टिकल इज कॉल्ड Diffusion. This one is correct. You can say this one is correct. Number second. Which statement for the particle of solid is not correct? Though? It's not correct. Number first. They move at a great speed. They are arranged in regular pattern there is a very little space between the particles the force of attraction between the particles are strong so uh, the first uh, a number uh, we say that uh, they move at great speed so we know that uh, in solid the particles uh, uh, don't move at a great speed so we can say uh, and we are demanding that which statement uh, for the particle of solid is not correct so this is a not correct so we will see, say that this is a, the answer this is answer these questions we will say this one this is your answer because uh, uh, in solids the particle doesn't uh, don't move in the great speed the particles don't move you can say cannot move with the great speed so this is the correct statement uh, well they are arranged in regular pattern you can say this is uh, the correct too because the uh, in solid uh, the particles are arranged in regular pattern and in solid so there is also very, very little space so uh, very little space so uh, between the particles uh, and the force of attraction between the particles are, are so strong. So the first statement is not correct. This is our answer. Number third. A liquid boils when its vapor pressure becomes equal to uh, number A, 760 centimeter of mercury, 1 Pascal, B, C, 101.105 kilo pascal and uh, number D, uh, 0.1 atmosphere. So you can say that um, option C, 101.325 kilo pascal is the correct answer. This one is the correct answer. Number four, the vapor pressure of a liquid increases with the increase of pressure, increase of temperature, increase of intermolecular forces, increase of polarity of molecules. So we can say that uh, the vapor pressure of uh, a liquid uh, increases so with the in uh, increasing of temperature so this option B is correct and say so this is the right answer number five water normally boils at 100 degrees Celsius but it is possible to boil at 50 degrees Celsius when which variable would you have to change to do this number a increase external pressure decrease external pressure increase surface area decrease surface area 
So what the correct answer is B decrease external pressure. Uh, external due to decrease in external pressure, the uh, liquid boils, boils below 100 degrees Celsius. So you can say that uh, B is the correct answer. Number six. The vapor pressure of a liquid or in a closed container depends upon the amount of liquid, surface area of liquid, temperature in both D and C. So the correct answer is the temperature. You can say that C is the correct answer. Number seven, which one of the following is not an example of amorphous solid? A rubber, B glass, C glucose, D plastic. So option C, glucose, this is the correct answer. Because uh, uh, glucose is not amorphous solid. Number, number eight, at freezing point, which one of the following coexist in dynamic equilibrium? A. Gas and solid. B. Liquid and gas. C. Liquid and solid. D. All of these. So, we can say that uh, option C is the correct answer. Because in now, uh, at freezing point, uh, liquid and solid on coexist on in dynamic equilibrium. Number nine. Ink spreads in water because of vapor pressure, B expansion, C diffusion, and D compressibility of uh, water. Uh, so C is the correct answer. Because the uh, ink spread spreads in water due to diffusion. So see the correct answer. Number 10. What will be the pressure of a gas if the volume of the gas at uh, 2 atmosphere is increased from 1.5 to 3 decimeters cube? Number A. 1 atmosphere. B. 1.5 C 2 atmosphere D 2.5 atmosphere. So the correct answer will be 1 atmosphere. And uh, if you want to calculate uh, it uh, mathematically, so how we can do this? Uh, here we know that. Uh, uh, the question is that uh, what uh, is what will be what will be the pressure of a gas if the volume of the gas A2 to atmosphere is increased from 1.5 to 3 cubic decimeter. So here uh, we have been asked to home, determine the pressure pressure of a gas. So we are going to determine this pressure, uh, which will be the final pressure. So here we can write, we are demand P2 is unknown. Oh, what will be the pressure of the gas if the volume of the gas at 2 atmosphere? 2 atmosphere. So pressure uh, P1 is equal to 2 atmosphere. atmosphere is increased from 1.5 cubic decimeter this is 1.5 cubic to 3 cubic decimeter so the V1 will be 1.5 you can say 1.5 decimeter cube and V2 
Un petit coton. Tri. Tri se mute. You. Now we're going to uh, determine the final pressure. So we know that uh, according to Boiler, uh, Boiler states uh, that uh, volume is uh, inversely proportion to pressure. This is a Boiler. So we can write that P is equal to KB. So for two cases, we can write here P1, P1 will be equal to P2, V2. So we need P2, we can write in this way that P2, P2 will be equal to this one will be equal to P1. V1 divided by V2. So put the value, the values uh, P1, you can say that uh, is 2 atmosphere, P1, 2 atmosphere, atmosphere into V1, so this one, so 1.5. 1.5 uh, decimeter cube divided by V2 and V2 will be equal to 3 cubic decimeter so in this the decimeter cube and decimeter cube will cancel with each other and we will uh, by multiplying multiplication and division of the figures we will get uh, we will get P2 will be equal to 2 into uh, I simply you can say that uh, will be equal to 2 into 1.5 it was real divided by divided by uh, 3 so from this so we will get 1 it was real the answer so p2 will be equal to 1 it was real this is our answer so in this way you can determine the this answer from these questions. Now we will have to solve the following numerical questions. Uh, So first one is calculate the final pressure of a sample of a gas that is uh, changed at constant temperature to 14.3 cubic decimeter from 7.5 cubic decimeter at 8 to 8 per. So the answer will be 437.160. <coughs> And the second one is calculate the final volume at uh, 302 degree Kelvin of a 5.41 cubic decimeter sample of a gas originally at uh, 553 Kelvin if the pressure doesn't change. So this will be the answer 4.62. Uh, number three is calculate the initial volume. At uh, zero degrees Celsius of a sample of a gas that is uh, changed to 731 cubic centimeter by calling to 
minus 14 degrees Celsius to constant pressure. The answer will be 770.51 cubic centimeter. Number 4. When a sample of a gas at room temperature occupies 0.80 cubic decimeter at 1.5, it must be. What will be its volume when the pressure of a gas is raised to 2.1? It must be. So the answer will be 0.571 cubic decimeter. And the final one is calculate the final volume of uh, 319 degrees Celsius of a sample of a gas. Original bio. 0.13 cubic decimeter at 171 degrees Celsius. If the pressure doesn't change, the answer will be 9.57 cubic decimeter. Now let's now let's solve these questions one by one. So first <laughs> Let's come towards question number one to solve these questions numerically. <coughs> so, question number one is to calculate the final pressure of a simple of a gas uh, that is changed at a constant temperature to 14. 0.3 cubic decimeter from 7.55 cubic decimeter at 828. <coughs> so now uh, let's come towards its uh, solution. Solution. So Uh, here to be mentioned in this uh, uh, questions final pressure is required to be determined because uh, calculate the final pressure so we have to determine this final pressure final pressure will be P2 this is unknown this is unknown <clears throat> now, uh, calculate the final pressure of a, a simple gas that is changed at constant temperature. Temperature is constant to 14.3 cubic decimeter from 7.55 cubic decimeter. So the volume is changed from 7.55 to 14.3 cubic decimeter. So the initial volume, you can say initial uh, initial volume will be V1, which will be equal to seven seven. 7.55 cubic decimeter. The final volume, final volume will be equal to V2, and that will be equal to 14.3 cubic decimeter. And final volume, the final volume, fourteen point three cubic decimeter. And uh, initial pressure at uh, eight to the pressure is eight to eight. So this is initial pressure. Initial pressure. V1 will be equal to 8 to 8 square. So, this is 
this is the final pressure and we're going to tell me this so uh, we know that uh, according to Voila 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 says that uh, volume the given mass this is inverse in proportion to the pressure at constant temperature so we can write this that PV uh, PV is equal to KB so PV is equal to KB and this is a boil const uh, boiler constant so KB is a boiler constant and uh, this is for one guess so for two guesses this is for say this is for one guess so for two guesses right here P1 P1 is equal to P2 V2 and we can write uh, here we need to determine this P2 so we can write uh, that uh, th this way P2 which we are going to determine will be equal to P1 V1 divided by V2 so by putting the values P1 and say this is uh, this one P1 so this one this is equal to 8 to 8 multiplied by v1 so v1 v1 is equal to this one seven point double five seven point double five cubic decimeter divided by v2 so this one so v2 is equal to 14.3 14.3 decimeter so we are going to determine this one so here cubic decimeter will be cancelled and uh, we will get the unit uh, this one so by multiplication and division of the figures we will get the pressure p2 will be equal to uh, 47 Forty-seven point one six zero two three unit. So this is the answer. Which is this one. So we have determined this. Which is, this is also answer is 437.160 and this is answer we have obtained so this is the solution of this numerical problem our first one now let's move towards the second uh, numerical question, question to be solved 
The second weekly questions say that calculate the final volume at 302 degree Kelvin of 5.41 cubic decimeter sample of a gas originally at 353 degree Kelvin. If the pressure doesn't change, and the uh, answer will be 4.62 cubic decimeter. So let's come towards this uh, question to solve. Now, in this question, we are going to determine the final, the final volume. Is this one? Final volume, final volume, for example we have final volume, V2, this unknown, at, at 302 degree Kelvin, of 5.41 cubic decimeter sample of a gas originally, is it originally, is it originally, at, five, at, three, uh, at 353 degree Kelvin. Originally at 353 degree Kelvin means that this is the initial temperature. T1 is the initial temperature 353 degree Kelvin. So T1 and the final temperature will be T2 which is uh, 302 degree Kelvin. 302 degree Kelvin. Oh. And the initial volume will be 5.5.41 5 So this one initial volume V1 will be equal to 5.41 Cubic decimeter. So, according to this question, calculate the final volume at 302 degree Kelvin of 5.41 cubic decimeter sample of a gas originally at 353 degree Kelvin. If the gas, if the pressure doesn't change, so we are going to determine final volume. So, according to this Charles law, Charles law, according to Charles law, it says that volume will be directly proportional to temperatures, and uh, that will be equal to, uh, you can say that uh, V by T will be V by T will be equal to K C. I guess is the charge of constant. You can write uh, this uh, equation, Charles law, uh, uh, in this way also. V one. V one. Divided by T T one. So we can uh, write here that um, V one divided by T one T one will be equal to V2 V2 This is V2 divided by T2 Now, we are going to determine this one, V2 
So rearranging this equation, you'll get v2 will be equal to uh, this. This one will move here. So we can write that uh, v2 is equal to v1 divided by t1 multiplied by t2. So putting the values, we can write that v2 will be equal to uh, <coughs> putting the value of v1 to this one. Why? Uh, we'll say why? Why? Point four one. Five point four one. Two we go. Decimeter. If we can write uh, some below, so, so this pair will be equal to five point four one cubicle decimeter into the value of t2 which is uh, 302 so 302 is equal to divided by putting the value of t1 which is this one so t1 will be 350 3 degree Kelvin. So the unit Kelvin in Canva will be cancelled. Kelvin will be cancelled and uh, we will get to the decimeter unit. So by multiplications and division of the figures, we can get the uh, of answer. V2 will be equal to uh, four points so four point six two eight four point six two eight four point six two eight Distributed so so this is the uh, answer so this will equal to this four point six two seventy two so this is the uh, answer we have got is equal to this one. So this is the solution of second question. Now let's come towards question number three. Calculate the initial volume at zero degree Celsius for sample of a gas that is changed to seven three and cubic centimeter by cooling minus 14 degrees Celsius constant pressure. The answer is given 770.513 cubic centimeter. Now let's move towards its solution. So calculate the initial volume. So we are required to determine the initial volume. Let's suppose this is V1. This is the initial volume which is V1. And we are going to determine this. It's unknown. 80 degrees Celsius. 
zero degree Celsius. So initial temperature will be zero degree centigrade Celsius. At zero degree Celsius of a sample of a gas, what is that is changed to seven three one seven three one cubic centimeter. The volume is changed to seven three one uh, cubic centimeter. So we two will be equal to seven three one cubic centimeter by cooling to 1 v minus 14 degrees celsius so the final temperature will be you can say that uh, t2 t2 the final temperature will be minus 14 degree celsius celsius so we are going to determine this uh, initial volume and we are given the values uh, t1 v2 and uh, t2 so in order to uh, solve this numerical question uh, let's apply charles law again as we have first discussed according to charles law we can write that uh, V1 divided by T1 will be equal to V2 divided by T2. So V required V1, so V1 will be equal to V2 divided by T2 into T1. So let's put the video. Uh, V1 will be equal to uh, put the value of V2, which is this one. So V2 is uh, 731, 731 uh, cubic centimeter multiplied by uh, put the value of T1 which is this one, zero. Degree Celsius. But uh, here, uh, we, uh, we require uh, a simple uh, conversion of uh, uh, you can say that uh, we are going, uh, we are given the value of uh, the centigrade and we are going to convert this centigrade into Kelvin unit. So, by doing this, so uh, we know that uh, Kelvin is equal to uh, centigrade, centigrade plus 273, 273. Point one five. So this is C. So by putting the value of centigrade, uh, first we can put the value of uh, zero. So zero. That is centigrade plus two seventy three. Point one five. This will be equal to two seventy three point one five degree Kelvin, which is uh, the temperature of. Uh, uh, we can say that uh, this is this, is this temperature. This one. So this is the T1, this is the value of T1, we have got this one, so T1, 
273.15 now we are going to remove minus 14 degrees celsius into Kelvin so we will use uh, the same formula uh, this one so here we will just put minus 14 instead of uh, uh, degrees celsius so if you put the value uh, you will get you will get the value minus 14 uh, which is this one plus 270 3.15 which will be equal to by subtraction we'll get the value 259.15 259.15 degree Kelvin so this is the value of four. T2 so T2 is equal to 259.15 so this is value of T2 this one this one and the T1 was 273.15 degree so now put to in say so by putting the values v1 will be equal to 731 cubic centimeter Putting the value of T1 which is equal to this one 273 273.15 degree till 1 divided by putting the value of T2 which is uh, this one 259 0.15 so in this case the kilowatt will be cancelled and we will get the unit of cubic centimeter so by the multiplications and division we will get finally the value of the one which we will, will be equal to Seven seven zero point four nine cubic centimeter and this is the answer of the questions and this is this is equal to this one seven seven zero point seven one so our answer is correct because this is equal to seven seven zero point five one. So this is the solution of uh, question number three. Now let's come towards the solution of question number four, which is this one, which uh, says that a uh, sample of a gas at room temperature occupies 0 0.80 cubic decimeter at 1.5 atmosphere. What will be its volume when the Pressure of the gas is raised to 2.1 cubic, uh, 2.1 atmosphere. So the answer is 0.571 cubic decimeter. So, in this question, we will uh, determine the final volume 
because uh, uh, we know that uh, in this question, a sample of a gas uh, at room temperature of ice 0.8 0.8 to 0 cubic decimeter volume so the initial volume will be 0.8 0 cubic decimeter and uh, at 1.5 atmosphere pressure So P1, the initial pressure will be equal to 1.5 atmosphere. What will be its volume? So we are going to determine the final volume. P2 is unknown. Uh, when the pressure of this is raised to 2.5, one atmosphere the final pressure is 2.1 atmosphere so here again we can apply the boiler again well, uh, it uh, said that uh, uh, volume is inversely proportional pressure. Uh, we can say for two cases, we can write that uh, P1, P1 is equal to P2, P2. Already the temperature is constant. Temperature is constant. So here we required to determine this V2 so we will determine this one and we can write by, re by rearranging the equation V2 will be equal to E1 V1 divided by E2 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 so by putting the values, uh, you can say that putting the value of the one, which is 1.5, it must be, so that will be equal to uh, 1.5, it must be, into putting the value of the one, which is uh, this one, 0.8, Zero point eight zero decimeter two divided by the value of P two, uh, which is uh, this one two point one atmosphere, two point one atmosphere. 2.1 atmosphere. So in this case, the atmosphere unit will be cancelled. This one, this one, and we will get to be decimeter unit. So by multiplying this and this one, and by dividing with this one, we can get uh, the value of rho v2 is equal to. Uh, point, uh, point five seven one two pico DC meter. So this is the value of P2, which is point seven point five seven one cubic decimeter, uh, which is equal to uh, this answer. So this is the solution of the four question. Let's come towards.
question number five, which uh, says that calculate the final volume of 319 degree centigrade of a sample of a gas originally a 5.13 cubic decimeter at 171 degree Celsius. If the pressure doesn't change, the answer is uh, 9.57 cubic decimeter. So in this case, so in this case, uh, we are going to determine the final volume. Final volume. Which is V2 is unknown. Calculate the final volume. So we're going to determine this one of 319 degrees Celsius. So the final temperature is, let's say, final uh, temperature. Is equal to T2, which will be equal to 319, 319 degree centigrade and original. 5.13 cubic decimeter. So this is the original uh, initial volume. Let's say initial volume will be equal to V1 and this will be 5.13 cubic decimeter. at uh, 171 degrees Celsius. So the uh, initial compression will be initial temperature will be equal to T1 this will be equal to 171 degree Celsius. So here we can apply the uh, Charles law. Charles law, which states that, uh, or the Charles law, can say that uh, B one divided by T one equal to V2 divided by T2 so that the pressure is kept constant so here we are going to determine the V2 which is this one so by rearranging this equation we can write uh, V2 will be equal to V1 divided by T1 into T2 so by putting the values putting the value of V1 which is this one 5.13 to 5.13 cubic decimeter into putting the value of T2 this one 319 degrees Celsius 319 let's say 319 319 degrees Celsius where am I putting the value of T1 
which is uh, this one 171 171 degree celsius so here the unit of centigrade will be cancelled cancelled and uh, by I will get to the unit to cubic decimeter so by multiplication of 5.13 with uh, 319 and by dividing with 171 we will get the value of final volume v2 which will be equal to uh, uh, We we'll get nine point five seven cubic decimeter. So this is the answer of uh, question number five, and this is equal to this one nine point five seven cubic decimeter. So this is the solution of the fifth numerical question.